Hello everybody. I am rapidly, I'm trying to slowly approach this wasp. That. Right there. Now I don't know what type of wasp this is. I'm trying to get a little bit close before it decides to fly off. But look at it. Um, let's say it's just about a centimeter long. And it's relatively large. It's not aggressive, because if it was, I'm sure it would not be fancying me approaching it, putting it on film. Copyright issues, I suppose. Um, you know. But look at it. Where is it at? There we go. There he is. Look at him. He's hunting, and he's, he's browsing around for something. I don't know what he's looking for, though. Look at that. What are you doing? So I'm taking some of that wood out. To make my nest. It's apparently very non-aggressive. Because like I said, it's kind of just like allowing me to film it. Just hope I don't make it angry. Because I don't think um, he would fancy me bothering him. I don't see a stinger on him. And if I... If, normally I would see one. And maybe I should send this to Coyote Peterson. He would know what it is. What's the sting index on that? Anyways, look at it. And he's, he's prowling around for something. I wonder what you're doing. But one of the things I love doing about uh, one of the things I love about gardening that is is that you come across so many different types of species, and what I'm creating here in the backyard is sort of like a forest of sorts, if you will, and it draws in new species of uh, creatures, uh, flying ones particularly, and I don't know if it's this what they call out here in Texas a dirt digger or something along those lines, but he's rather actually a lovely looking creature. Look at that. I'm, I'm really, really close on this guy. And he's just, he's busy away. Care less. Anyways, I wanted to share that with you because I thought it was really great. I had to run and grab my phone really quick and film it. And there he is.